friends! Today I want to show you how I organize my ephemera. It can be a challenge to corral all of our ephemera, so I'm going to show you what I've done. You guys know I'm moving into my new craft space. So I have temporary post-its on here. These, as you can see, are notebooks. It does bother me a little bit that they don't match. I would love to have them all four being white. However, I'm using what I have in my stash instead of going out and buying new stuff. I figure when I wear them out, then I can make them match. Uh, but right now, just getting them organized is the priority. So you can see I have A through E here, F through M, N through S, and T to Z, uh, T to Z, I have here. Now, I originally had all of these with this, but I had to redo some of the alphabet because I moved them into a bigger folder, and then I couldn't reuse these. They wouldn't stick again. So anyway, that's why that one stands out as being different. So I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to get some of these out of the way and we're just going to start with A. What I want to share with you was I got these pouches on Amazon and I think I got like a 30 pack. They fit in a three ring binder and I got these so that they would fit stuff that's bigger than this pouch but smaller than the following pouch and I'll get to showing you that in just a second. So these fit like, it's kind of nice because it's kind of like chunky items, something that won't fit in here. I mean, this might have fit in here, but it was like so bulky and it came as a kit, so I didn't want to disassemble the kit just to get part of it to fit in the sleeve. So, uh, and this I just wanted to keep together and the teapot is too big to fit in one of these, but too small to fit in the next ones. So, you know, this is an example of what I have going on in this sort of sleeve. And honestly, I used the entire 30 pack that I got. I might end up getting another one because I like it because it zips so stuff is not gonna slide around. Now, the next sort of thing I'm using, uh, you guys use these for uh, pocket letters. These are baseball card holders. Well, I'm using these for my ephemera. And you can see here, I'm using washi tape on some of them, that if this slides, it won't slide out. So I just use a little piece of washi tape. It comes off very easily, and it doesn't leave a mark. Look at that. But it'll secure certain things if I'm afraid that they're gonna slide around a little bit. Then the next sort of uh, thing I'm using, uh, I guess holder, is an eight and a half by 11. Uh, page holder and I, I have this in here because this is a magazine page. Here's the one for uh, B. So this pocket I have for A and then when I start with the B's I have one for B. So every time I see one of these I know I'm into the next alphabetical letter. Hopefully that makes sense. And I just have it stuffed full. I have it stuffed full of these packages uh, and you know, I had all of this sort of stuff in the eight and a half by 11, but it they were like sliding around and making them lopsided and heavy and it was really irritating me. So I went online to look for just different things and I saw these and I thought, oh, I gotta, I gotta try them. So I'm very happy with this. I think it's a great idea. So here we are into the bees. We got butterflies and birds and bows. So, and then you can see some washi tape holding these butterflies in place. And not every, not everything slides a lot. So you don't, you know, I'm not using it on everything, but if I think it's gonna slide, I'm using it. The baseball card holders, where I needed more than one, I'm using more than one. You can see in the bees, section, I have three of them because I don't want to cram every pocket full so that I can't see what's in them. I am combining some things, but I don't want to combine a ton of things. And then here's the big sleeve. This is the stuff again that will not fit in the smaller sleeve prior to it. So we have birthday, uh, bow bunny, baking. So that's the kind of stuff in here. And then we start with another pocket. And this would be C. I have like clock and a card. And then here 
anything having to do with coffee. So like I have this here because I have another one, I think under my Valentine's Day section. So I put one here in case I wanted one for like to do like a coffee thing. This is for card. This is for cherries. This is chandelier. The big one just full of a variety of ephemera. And uh, I have cats in here. I did want to show you if I can get to it, these cougars, because these are cracking me up. Hold on, here we go. Look at how fabulous they are. Got these in a Happy Mail, and I just think they're fantastic. So I, I want to play with those uh, sometime soon. So anyway, that's the C. I think I combined D and E because I didn't have a lot of that kind of stuff. So you'll see Easter is in here, but then there's dresses here. So where I, and then dolls, I have these girls under dolls. So where I could, I combined, if I didn't have a lot of something, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't use one of these. I just could combine them, like I said. And then here's the eight and a half by 11 uh, holder with some Easter stuff in it. And then another one, because I didn't want to cram these all together. And then we are, here's E for envelopes and ephemera. So that's how I did that. All right, I have the leg of my camera actually on the notebook, so I'm sorry if it moves around a little bit. F, obviously flamingos and fairies, so I have fairy things and feather things and all kinds of stuff like that over here. In this pocket, I have a uh, guest check, that would be for G. I have, I put these sparkly things um, under gems because for my brain, I think I can remember that. So we've got flowers, fashion, and fairies more flowers and flamingos and this says friends oh and then here's another kind that I used so this is a f like from a photo album and you could put a nice big photo in here but I'm using this for larger ephemera that doesn't fit in my baseball card holders and doesn't you know that's maybe that I don't want to put into that one sleeve. So I have this size, which is like five by seven. And then in the side, it has this little side pocket, I put feathers. And then here's the eight and a half by 11, just holding a bunch of stuff there. Though so here we are for H for hearts. So I know we're in H. And then this is Girl Scouts because I haven't finished my daughter's Girl Scout album from when she was little. Uh, but we also have some guitars, a lot of Girl Scout ephemera there. And then this is gonna be H, uh, and, and I have this sort of stuff under history. If it looks historical, then I put it here. Hearts, Halloween, and then this is gonna be for Halloween also. Even though that's Medusa, I would only use that for Halloween. And then this is gonna be, so I have two eight and a half by 11 pouches, cause one's for Halloween and then one's for hi history sort of stuff, like stuff that looks historical to me. Oh, right, what's this one? A oh, this is M for Mother's Day, but then these are library cards. So this is L and M and there's a llama in there also. I only had one ice cream. I actually, I should spread those out. I don't know why I have them all jammed into one little thing, but I have my washi tape holding it in place. And maybe that's why, just because I felt like I could just use one piece of washi to hold everything in place. Some more gems here. These are Memdex cards. I must have had two of these in the M's, so I actually could spread some of this stuff out a little bit better. And I have some big money and music stuff. So here's some more Halloween, and here's history, and then under that I have hearts. All right, so now we have N through S. I have this under nature, because this is like a lot of, it's green and there's a lot of plant life here. So that's why I have this under N. And then I have navy right there. And another sheet here, I guess I had a little overflow so I could actually spread those out a little bit. And then I have a large eight and a half by 11 to hold some of the bigger pieces. And then this is some of the pieces that were too small to fit in the eight and a half by 11, but too big to fit in the uh, baseball card ones. So they fit very nicely in these five by seven pockets. O for owl, and he is by himself. I don't have a lot of stuff for O, which is fine. And then I put these, can you see through the, yeah, you can see through it. Uh, I put these here for people. I wasn't sure if I should do 
uh, I, I wasn't sure what to call them, so I'm just calling them people, and so they are in this nice pouch here, and then I have more people, as you can see. Some of these are Tim Holtz, but some of these are real vintage photographs uh, that my friend Marie, Hope Vintage Sales, sent me, and um, I'm so thankful to have those. We got P for pineapple here. P for princess, so princessy stuff is going in there. This is blank. Uh, I must have... I think I just put it in here for when I needed it so I didn't have to like go dig it out of the cabinet and all that stuff. This is R for rabbit. And then we have S for sewing so and stamps. And then ships or sailing. And then we have S for steampunk is what's happening here and spiders. And Scouts. This is Boy Scouts. That's a vintage Boy Scout card from 1949. Then we have S for sewing. So a lot of sewing ephemera is here. And this is like some miscellaneous S stuff. This is a vintage Sony tag, which I think is fantastic to have. More sewing. And then some other things. We have S for summer. So there's like picnic, which I have under summer. And then soda. And then these were like summertime stickers. And then I'm not sure why these pink, oh, maybe princess. This reminds me of princess gems. So that's why I have that here. I have my windows open. So there's probably some external noises. You might hear some wind blowing and cars going by and all that. Cause you know, it's about 74 today, 75, but warm. it's a very warm 75 degrees. The sun is out shining, but it's a great day to have the windows open. Anyway, here we are. The last one, T through Z. So. I made my own pouch here because this one didn't have a pouch and these are some beautiful ephemera cards that I got from my friend Gwen at Gwen Offit Designs. I ordered these from her Etsy shop and she takes vintage cards and then she puts like a little pocket there and then fills them with ephemera. I wanted a spot to keep those together. I have used a lot of the ephemera in them but um, I haven't used all and then I added a little bit of my own just so it could kind of be together. So this is going to be T for travel so any end train. Actually these green papers are uh, from the railroad back in the day and then I have this under travel as well. So then we have tags, uh, teacups, thank you, and then we, uh, more tags. So all of these I think are tags. And then we get into the five by seven. I cut this in half because it wouldn't fit in long ways, but this would be for travel. More travel here in the eight and a half by 11 sheet. And I'm sorry that some of it's shiny. I, I still hope that you can see it. So this would be Valentine's and you see the unicorn. So this is U and V in here. And then here's some of the baseball card things full of Valentine's Day stuff. And then I think I put these girls in here because I could make Valentine's Day cards with them and I think it would look cute. I think that's why those ladies are here. This is summer, no, vacation. This is vacation, that's what this stuff is. This chipboard could go in the S or the V and then this is swimming. And then this is W, so window, wax, seals, weddings. The eight and a half by 11, a lot of wedding stuff that I have because I had been working on my wedding photo albums. So I have some ephemera from that that I haven't used. I haven't finished those yet. I'd like to finish those someday. And then some large ephemera in these sheets. I got these sheets out of like an old photo album and I sliced the sides off so they'd fit in the eight and a half by 11 and look what nice large pockets they are. So that was just kind of a lucky thrift store find that I kind of cut to make it fit and work for me. So I have a lot of vellum quotes in here and I have that under W for words. So that's what I did with that. Now these are from calendars and I figured instead of trying to slide them in a big sheet, I just attached them here with some washi tape and I can just flip and if I want to cut one of these out and make ephemera out of it or something like that, I can do it but they're real easy for me to see. That's working so far. So there they are in my cabinet and once I've decided that that's how I'm going to keep this then I will use my label maker and put proper labels on them. Now that's not all of my ephemera. As you can see, I've got some here. 
All right, so this is my little ephemera box. And this is a mixture of ephemera that people have sent to me and things that I have made. So excuse my desk, I'm still moving into my craft room so there's some extracurricular items going on over here. But I, I did wanna share what I've got in this box. I have like large things uh, well, actually, it's all different size things, but it's stuff that when I'm making a journal, I can grab it just real quick and use it. I've got my pad of vintage score, uh, bridge, is that what it is? Yeah, bridge score sheets in here. I've got vintage receipts. I've got some non-vintage items, but like this is just kind of an odd thing that I could make a belly band out of or make on cards. It's kind of like, I don't want to say oddball stuff, but some of it is. This is a prescription pad sheet when you couldn't have Motrin unless you had a prescription. And this is from 1975. So I've got that in there. I also have uh, handmade tags. This is a tag that I made. So if I do a journal, you know, with these colors, you know, I can just grab. So frequently I'll just come over and flip through here and, you know, pull out stuff and, you know, see if it'll work for a journal. And, you know, and then I try to have the smallest in the front and the largest in the back. Now, since I've been trying to clean up and organize my new crafty space, I'm moving in basically. Some things have just kind of gotten tossed in here with not as much thought as I usually give to it. And it's quite full. It's not usually this full, but I'm just in a situation where I don't have time to be nitpicky about it. I've got to get organized and move forward. My friend Crystal at uh, Vividly on Paper sent me these. So I, I try to have like my little tiny things like that up in the front. So I'm going to tuck these down. See, I have more clusters. That's basically was clusters that she sent me. So I have these in there. So anyway, so this is where I have, if I'm making a journal and I can do a quick go to stuff that's basically, it's ready to go. So that's what I have in here. This is a belly band that was given to me and uh, it ended up in here and it's tall so I'm going to put it over here. So anyway, that's what I've got in here. Just a big, let me turn it this way for you so you can see. It's a very large variety of goodies in here and uh, vintage things. Can you see these? Look at these. I mean, aren't they gorgeous? So anyway guys, uh, let me see if I have any other ephemera to show you. I want to show you up in the corner in that pink container. That's all my playing cards. I went to an estate sale and got so many vintage playing cards. And so they're all in there. And then in the bread container are all my napkins. And it is chock full of my napkins. I would consider those, I guess, that's not really ephemera, but we work with it in our crafty projects. So here's that pink box, and if you can see, in the drawer it is chock full of vintage debit card machine cards. They come, it comes out as like this paper now, but these are actual card stock, and uh, I actually should sell some of these in my Etsy shop, because as you can see, I have a whole little drawer full of them, and they make wonderful tags. These can be backed with white uh, paper, cardstock, whatever you want to use, and they make wonderful junk journal tags. And then when we close that up, I'm going to turn this this way. These are my cards. Now these are my giant playing cards, but these are my vintage cards. Let me show you some of these. So this set comes in a velvet, a green velvet container and very vintage, 1970s I'm sure, and then look at the images on this card. And so you can see that, and this is from a cruise line. Let's take a look what cruise line is this from. This is from More McCormick Lines, and look at that. I have not used any of these because I, I, I can't bring myself to do it yet, but I will. I. When I find these vintage things, I just love them so much. Look, 
there's instructions right there and so I just love it so much it's hard for me sometimes to use them so here's some vintage wildlife cards I have used these and gifted a lot of these actually here I have a little mini set this is vintage as well look how tiny it is I think I've maybe used a few of these but I don't know for sure but look at them look how cute they are so I love this little set look at the image on there isn't that great Here's another image. And then this one, oh, somebody must have, I must have, I don't know where this deck went. I wonder if my daughter used it or there's no way I used the whole thing. Anyway, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Now, some of these, this is from Copenhagen and it literally is still in the packaging. So I got several packs that have never been opened before. They are vintage and I got them from my friend Tina, uh, which was so nice of her to give those to me. This is Delta Airlines, and look, the, there's a, the little sticker right there. I'm pretty sure I haven't used these, but I could be wrong. I might have gotten into these, but aren't they great? And then let's see, we got Bridge Size Eastern Airlines. Look, unopened, still in the plastic. And then we got, okay, these crack me up. These are fantastic. These are, these have like uh, some very funny comedic lines on them. So these are just a blast to have. I gave one of these to my friend Nat Williams and she just cracked up. It had like a golf, hers had a golf thing. They probably all are golf. I'm not 100% sure because I have, yeah, they, a lot of them have golf. Uh, sayings on them. And there's the original pack of rules. And then last but not least was from an estate sale that I went to. And there was some cards missing from this, but the rest, you know, there are some in here. So I'm not sure what that's doing in there. That might have been an accident. So anyway, that is my card collection, my friends. And friends, pretty much the last of my ephemera are in these three drawers right here. And this is historical vintage ephemera and I am not doing anything with it right now until I decide what I want to do with it because I think I want to make some digital kits out of it so my historical stuff true vintage is staying in these three drawers until I have time to play with it I just spotted some more ephemera you see it wrapped in plastic right there that is vintage music paper and uh, right next to it is my vintage pattern sets uh, with the envelopes you know the patterns are inside so I've got that as well I do have my doilies right there uh, I think we could consider that to be ephemera and then actually next to that I've got my wallpaper which you know, I guess is ephemera. Well, thanks for watching. See you soon.